Hey guys, and welcome to the Beach House. I'm here with my lovely wife, Ellie. This is one of our projects right here on the water in Quincy. It's a five bed, three baths with beautiful views of the city of Boston skyline, guys. And it's gonna be a spectacular property when it's all done. We just wanted to share a little bit about where we're at now. We're towards the end of completion of the project. We aren't done yet, but I definitely want to showcase where we're at. So come on in. First thing I want to say, guys, my wife designed this beautiful built-in. Take a look, and baby, if you want to explain what your thoughts were with the utilizing the space. We usually like it was an empty space. I wanted to, you know, when you come in, you, especially if you have kids, you can hang up, you know, jackets and um, put uh, things inside the drawers. Careful, I don't like, know if that paint's wet. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, they can put um, gloves, scarf, you know, so, it's a different stuff that you you know when you have children you have plenty of storage that you can put there and it's push dr button drawers right push push drawers right correct yep they pop out so you don't need any hardware which is a huge plus then um you got your here, laundry room this is the laundry room but uh, here what i really wanted is just wanted to have like a space that is entertainment just and actually we have a one one bedroom here, but it's just more entertainment. It's all tile. Um, let me see if I Which, can show you. Yeah, they're gonna see it obviously um, on the final tour, but if there's something, you can show them in the bathroom. Take a look. Yeah, it's, and basically I use the same tile for the whole entire, it's a dark, and I wanted just to make sure that it's all one color, and it flows from the entrance to the bathroom, to the entertainment area, to the bar area, to, to the deck. As I, you know, it's in front of the beach, plenty of um, closet space. That's a must. We have another entrance as well. And I love to create, you know, these type of um, built-ins as well in both entrances. And this one on the other side, just to have, you know, when they, you, you have your kids, you have your bag, so you can put a, plenty of storage here. And let me show you, this is gonna be the bar area here and also more storage here you know as you guys can see there's a theme here storage storage and more storage i think it's important I absolutely mean, always um, all this is gonna is entertainment you can put you know a couch you can put a um, pool table you can put it's anything i mean you can create whatever you wanted and have this beautiful view and i just open all of this and to have you know the view of of the ocean as well, I wanted to go with light colors of the cabinets and to contrast um, the backsplash that we're gonna put here and also the floors as around? well. No, I don't. That's all right. But as I, I was telling we'll you about this, um, this tile. It goes all through the house until the deck, see? It's, one, it's just one space. It's all here. Look at the view. Spectacular. I love this view. Yeah, no, it's amazing. We actually thought about potentially moving into this house. That's almost, we love the house and love the location, but we also love the location of where we're at. Our kids have their friends and everything at our, our primary residence, so. Uh, but this is not a bad option, guys, on the water. And it's still, you have plenty, of, you know, on the, the backyard, you have plenty of space to build whatever you want. The best part about this house, nobody can build on the right side. So, nobody. So yeah, it's wetlands. It's the, this is perfect. You have huge two parking spots on each side, and, um, and permanent privacy. Correct. After you, as I always say, ladies before gentlemen. So here before it was a door, I just covered it up. That way you can you have just one space uh, to go into the main uh, living area. Yes, welcome to the main living level, guys. So here my thoughts, um, we had different layouts. 
but I really like this one because, I mean, I don't want to put the dishwasher there, you know, and I'm doing dishes here when I have that beautiful view. So I eliminate all that and I just put a big island and I can wash dishes here. I can talk to the people there and still, you know, have that, uh, that view that I think that that's priceless. That's called a million dollar view, baby. <laughs> a million dollar view. Check it out, guys, in every direction. Yep, no, it came out great. And I, and I gotta showcase the one idea I had was to put this window next to the fireplace. I know initially, you know, we had gone back and forth about what we're gonna do with this space over here, it's dead space. I'm like, let's put a window there. Let's, let's utilize the space. Let's make it work with the, with the fireplace. And I think it, it, it came out pretty nice. What do you think? Yes. I mean, I built this at Planet and it came out very nice, you know. It's a um, gas fireplace. And I think that this is also, it's, it's gonna make the house to look a little bit warmer as well. And you know, you can have plenty of living space here, dining room over there, it's still, it's just one space. Before here, we have a wall. Yeah, it was so a wall, yeah, we took that out. We yep. took that off. Correct. So the house has five bedrooms total. You have one downstairs. You wanna go check out the bedrooms in the back? So we got three beds back here and one bath on this main living level. Plenty of space for a growing or large family. And then throughout, let's see, you wanna, you can go to any one of these bedrooms, man. They're all uh, good size. And as you'll see in this one, again, the theme, built-ins. You know my wife, she has a thing for built-ins, which is great, and, and the buyers love it as well, because at the end of the day, we're designing these homes for functionality, and so that whoever comes in can come in easily and enjoy the space and utilize every nook and cranny, and so this is huge. There'll be some poles going in on either side as well. So you and got like cubbies, here. drawers, and poles, and a shelf. What more do you want in a tiny closet like this? Super efficient use of the space. I mean, I think that it's very important to create this type of built in. Even this one here, like, you know, to put all the sheets, towels, right. get and into the shower, and it's, you know, it's easy for people. I mean, I like stories, I like to be organized. So this is the, um, the second bath, and this is just double sink, and I wanted to have something more like clean look, and that's what I went with this um, this tile. It's the same thing is is because it's in front of the beach, and I wanted to just be calm and nice, nothing like too dark, something calm and nice. One thing I want to add to guys on the, the built-in. With a lot of these houses, especially new flippers, they tend to do the closets last and it's an afterthought. You get a pole and a metal wire hanging shelf. But the reality is all these buyers, you know, especially coming in at a price point like this, the expectations are much higher than a first time home buyer. This house is gonna sell for, we're hoping over a million dollars. And so from that perspective, you have to make sure you design it with that in mind. And all those little extras is what these buyers are buying. As they say, the design is the detail. So. This is why it's so important to go above and beyond with this. So we are now in the master suite. Skylights, we got a skylight in the hall, we got a skylight here, private deck. So for whoever's gonna be living here, to really enjoy this space and wake up feeling like a king or a queen. Imagine you wake up every day, you come out here, just think for a little bit, look at this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this thing, it just feels amazing. It feels like you're on top of the world. Total privacy on both sides. Just a really, really nice feel. Check out that view. Boston. It's crazy over there, calm over here, guys. And that's what it's all about. Also, um, I add more storage space here. Inside, if they wanna, you know, just storage anything, so they can put it there as well in each side. And um, another skylight. I mean, this you can put a desk if you want to work at home. You can put a chair. It's you know there are different things that you can do in this space as well. And also, I wanted to have two big closets. Showing showcase this 
Wow, so this is the st standing shower. The same thing. I want to. I use the same tile. It's nice and clean. N nothing dark. It's more um, and also uh, it's timeless as well, as you see. Of course, the top. Soaker top. The skylight as well, and you have privacy here. You know, the other thing that I want to do with um, there are two things. And I'm gonna put this backsplash. And the most important thing you forgot, there is a toilet in this bathroom, guys. Got the toilet, baby. Come on now. Boom, there you go, total privacy. No windows, no noise. You can be in your element at peace doing what you do. So, how do you even get the toilet? Come on, we'll check out the closets. <laughs> Again, more custom design details, guys. Got to get some lighting in here. Coming to do the finish uh, electrical and plumbing next week. Same thing on this side. I think that concludes the tour. I don't know what is my favorite. What's that? Um, Project? No, my favorite um, part of the house. The master bedroom, the second floor, or the first floor. I mean, it's, yep. I mean, I love this. The master bedroom is amazing. The second floor is like all the kitchen entertainment, and you have the deck, you have the fireplace. And the first floor is all entertainment. I mean, I love the whole house. It's a, it's a beautiful house. So that's it, guys, for this tour. This property is going to be listed in a few weeks for a little bit over a million dollars, so we're hoping to get a million to one one range for it. Like I said, spectacular view, spectacular job on the design. I find them, she designs them, make sure they get fixed, and I get them sold. And as always, guys, stay tuned for more. Anything else you want to add? No, thank you. I hope you like it. How could they not? Now, nice job on this.